so hello and my name is Glenn and in this video we're going to be going through some coins and seeing if there's actually anything that I can put into my collection so most of these will not be worth that much uh, yeah I think that's enough coins add to this 1.3 kilogram bag so I'll probably do quite a few videos on this so let's have a look at the first coin so the quite a large coin so this is a UK 1921 penny so quite damaged so pretty much only worth a nickel value you can see King George V so not really worth much uh, here we have Another UK coin, no, wrong, Canadian. So this is the commemorative one to commemorate 100 years of Canada. And this one has, I think, a pigeon or a dove. It's quite a nice coin. Uh, very high mint, uh, but this one's in pretty good condition. Maybe I will replace it with uh, the coin that I have. Then we have a Kenya. So this is one of the two first coins. The other one's the Australian 50 cent coin that first got me into coin collecting 1971 pretty well worn there's a Kenyatta on this side so the first president of Kenya as it says there this is quite a large coin large penny size coins is the UK penny this one's also the same size and the coat of arms of Kenya uh, another common coin Italy 100 lira and this is a Roman with an olive tree. Don't know who it is. And I can't find any information on it. And here we have Republic Italiana. So it's probably the allegorical feature. Then we have a Malaysia. 20 sen. And here's the Bank of Negara Malaysia building with a... The crescent in the start, it's on the uh, flag and the coat of arms. So this one is still legal tender in Malaysia. Uh, but a caveat, if I don't actually say a value, it's probably worth about a dollar or less. So I won't say a value for that. And then we have two Chinese coins. So we have, have the one yuan. So this is the highest coin in circulation. Uh, this one's still legal tender, stainless steel, nice beautiful flower, I can't remember what flower it has on there, it doesn't have the name. And here we have a two gel, so this one has uh, some damage up there, looks post mint damage. Could be, or it could be pre mint damage, it looks like it's been doubled. So what I'm looking at here is the two, so if we zoom in. So it looks like that wheat goes over top of the damage there. So maybe it is pre-mint damage. And this too is doubled as well. So you can quite clearly see doubling. So that's interesting. Never seen that before. And it looks like it's, uh, it's, looks like it's probably doubled as well again. So this one needs more investigation, 1984. Uh, these coins are still in circulation, but they haven't been minted since uh, 2000. 42 Fen. So that one I'll put aside. Yeah, this one's just a normal circulating coin of China. They replaced their coins in 2019 with different ones. Uh, but it still should be very common. Okay, then we have a Danish coin, 954, I think this is 25 Ure. Yep, nothing special, but I'm not too sure if I have that in my collection. Uh, and I can't remember his name. R. Uh, Reginald, don't know. Okay. Hong Kong 10 cent, oh, 50 cent, should I say? Uh, these are still legal tender, but they're taking them out of circulation. Uh, but I get these every now and then in Hong Kong when I visit. Have a visit since 2019, poor me. Okay, here we have a Mexican, 20 centavos, 
for the Mexican Mint there, 1976, for quite a few days. Now, I don't like this coat of arms, it's too liney. So the current coat of arms on the coins is nice. Estados Unidos Mexicanos, United States of Mexico. Philippines, previous series, uh, 50 centimos. Here's uh, Metello H. Del Pilar. And on this side it has an eagle. So it has a scientific name. Fifi Kofaga Jeferia Jeferi. Quite a nice design that is. And I've already got that. Here's another nice design. So this is the same size as the Tencent coin. Indonesia 50 rupia. And this is I think it's a bird of paradise. Can't remember, but it's quite an uncirculated coin. But there were a billion of these minted, so you should quite easily find them in uncirculated grade. And this one looks like it's got doubling on the Yep. Another error coin got doubling on the letters as well. So that one is going into my error pile. So that's the second coin, error coin that I've found so far. Okay, Singapore, five cents. Still legal tender, but they changed the design in 2013. And a Belgium five francs, not really that spectacular a design. No idea. 49, before the style was zinc, issued by the Germans. Uh, but you know, not a very rare coin. Okay, 50 Groschen from Austria. When it circulates, it's equivalent to about 5 cent. So that has the simplified coat of arms of Austria. Then we have a 943, 1 cent from Canada. Not too sure if I have this coin, so I'm going to put that aside. Probably not worth much. Okay, a coin I don't have is this Spain 25 pesetas with a hole in it. And I don't have any 25 pesetas, but every year they change the design. So if you want to get this set, you need to get one for every year. And this commemorates Castilla La Mancha. So that one's definitely going in my set. And I actually sold all my Canadian coins, so... This would replenish my Canadian coins. And a five cent. This should be the nickel. Uh, but a pretty common coin. Oh, another Spanish coin. 96, is this the same coin? Oh, it's a bit weird I have two the same. Uh, but this one's pretty much uncirculated. This one's a bit circulated. But I like Spanish coins. So I might keep both. Okay, now we have our 1971 Robert Frances. So this is a new Caledonia coin, two francs. And in September this year, they're going to change their coins and remove these one and two francs from circulation and reduce the size. So not long before they are removed from circulation. Oh, pre decimal coin from New Zealand. With the Kiwi, 1950, this copper nickel version. Uh, I'm a bit surprised to actually find it in there. They're worth just a few dollars, probably three or four dollars. Another Danish coin. Yep, 10 Ure. Bigger than the ones that we shoot in Sweden and Norway. Uh, but not worth that much. But I'm not too sure if I have it in my collection. This one I do have. Uh, I'll sell the uncirculated versions for, I think, four or five dollars. Uh, but this one's a 100 peseta, roughly equivalent to a dollar when it circulated. Uh, it's the coat of arms of Spain. You've got the pillars. So this is how they think that the dollar come around. Because you've got the little line, you've got the reef going around. Looks like an S. Madrid. Then we have our Indonesian 979.50 rupiah. This is a FAO issue, uh, but this was the lowest coin in circulation at the time. 
Uh, but it's still quite a nice coin though. I like the bordering of the actual coin. Stainless steel. You can see how it started to corrode. So this is what happens to steel. It goes black. So this is a 50 lira, 1980. Um, man with a hammer. Doing metallurgy on an anvil. So he's a blacksmith. And not too sure who that is on that side, but you know, quite a common coin. A uh, current coin from Japan. Um, Showa 53, so 53rd year. Pretty uncirculated. Uh, but you know, you go to Japan, these are pretty common. But I think we'll get that one. Uh, current coin from Hong Kong, 1995, 10 cent, worth 10 cents. I might spend that in Hong Kong. Okay, five pence from the UK, so this is the current coin. Has the older design, but you can uh, still spend it, still legal tender. So this is copper and nickel, they're changing to nickel plated still. And at the top here, we have a cud. So that makes this coin... Uh, probably a few dollars with uh, that cut on it. So that's the third error I found in just this lot alone. Maybe it's probably the only ones I'll find. Okay, so here we have a French 10 centimeters, 1970. Pretty common. Usually you don't find errors on French coins uh, that I've come across. But maybe because I, I miss stuff. So I can't really get every era so that's up for you to find another belgium coin so this is belgi and these were issued in french and dutch as well all belgium coins were they had either french or dutch or both languages on the coin 1972 but yeah this one's pretty damaged okay south korean large 10 one they reduced the size to a smaller coin uh, but this one is one of the national monuments on in South Korea. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, but that's still legal tender. But, you know, you probably won't find it. Large brass coin. Small brass coin. Soviet Union. One Kopec. 1977. And South African. Half cent. There's two finches, and here we have the coat of arms. So funny thing is that these were readed, but the five and ten cent were not. A bit strange. So South Africa in English, and South Africa in Afrikaans, and the old coat of arms. Probably not really worth much, but I don't know. This might, looks like it, probably from a mint set. Oh, and I've got heaps of these. Czech Republic to... Karun, nice coin, I do like the shape of it, and the coat of arms, 95, but pretty common, nickel plated steel. And the last one, 1972, so this is a nickel one from New Caledonia, still in circulation, but nickel's quite an expensive coin, so these ones will be taken out in September. Uh, and replace with smaller coins. I should do a video on that so people know. But anyway, here's where I'll leave the video. And so the good thing I got out of this was the 25 pesetas from Spain. Uh, the better coin from Canada, the one cent commemorative. And these three error coins. So this is why you should look into your coins. So we've got a cud. We have a lamination, so you can tell it's lamination because that little grain there goes over top and it's got doubling as well. And then we have this Indonesian coin with a doubling on the dates and the lettering. So that is also a nice error to find. And has there any problems on this side? No, I don't think so. So three error coins, and they're all in pretty top condition. Anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching my video and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. I'll leave links down below to eBay. Maybe I'll put a link to Trig because, you know, he's actually a pretty good coin seller. And take care.